Hello, everyone. Hello, Sophie. Hello, Sherry. Sophie, you've been out in the garden and you have collected a beautiful bouquet of flowers. Yes, I have. And look who's followed me in today. Oh, bees, bees. Bees here, bees there. Bees, bees everywhere. Oh, bees in my hair. Bees on my nose. Oh, bees on my clothes. Bees on my cheek. And there's a bee who likes to play hide and seek. Okay, bee. Buzz, 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 buzz. Ah, hello, peekaboo. Oh, ah, did you see? Oh, peekaboo. Oh, peekaboo. Ah. Oh, I'm a little honeybee. Yellow and black. See me gather pollen on my back. What the queen bee tells me to do. I must do, so I can make sweet honey for you. Bzzz. Oh, oh, you are a sweet honeybee. Oh, everyone, Maddie will be right back. She has a special puppet that we're making today. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, let's make some art. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a pocket puppet. This is my pocket puppet here. It is a bee, and the way that you use your pocket puppet is you have these openings here, and you put your fingers into. Mm, bzz, bzz. So I'm gonna show you how to make one of these. So I'm gonna put him right down there, our art ingredients for our pocket puppet are one piece of paper, markers, colored pencils, or crayons, and stickers and googly eyes. Now these are optional, but you will need a piece of paper and some materials for coloring. So I'm gonna move that out of the way there. So if you need to pause and gather your materials, go right ahead. All right, so I have my white piece of paper. This is a computer paper. And what you wanna do first, so I'm gonna lay it down here, is you want to fold it into thirds. I'm gonna fold this vertically, not horizontally. So I want it to be tall and vertical like a building. So I have a couple different ways to fold a piece of paper into thirds that I'm gonna show you. So first way is you can eyeball it. You can kind of see and fold it into one third and fold your other side over. Now, this is not always perfect, but that's okay. So if you fold your paper this way, that's all right. But what I want you to do, as you see we have this tab, this flap here, I wanna tuck the smaller side underneath so my bigger side is on this side, and I'll show you why, okay? I'll show you why when we get to that step. So let me show you the other way to fold our paper. So this way, I'm not actually gonna fold anything just yet. I'm gonna make it into almost a tube, and that's gonna help me fold it. So here's my tube. This works well, but it takes some practice. So if you're not used to doing this, it could feel a little weird. But this way gets me a little bit more even on the first try. So there's my long tube and my paper is folded into thirds. All right, so our next step is I'm going to fold our paper in half. I wanna make sure that side touches the other and crease it. So now I have that folded in half. Now, on these sides, I wanna fold those to meet down at this one, at the tip. Fold there, so again, I'm folding this here over. I'm gonna turn it over, I'm gonna do the same thing. Fold it over. So that's gonna make the mouth of our puppet. These here, these little pockets, that's why they call it a pocket puppet, that is where your fingers are going to go. 
So there's the start of a pocket puppet. Kind of looks like an M. So I'll show you why you want to fold that over. So here's my other paper. If I have my paper like that, let me do that again and I'll show you. So again, folding it over in half, folding this section down, then this one over again. So this on top here is our area to draw. So if you've got an extra flap, it doesn't give you a nice smooth surface for drawing. So that's why I said you want to fold that over and you can still, so if you do that and you're like, uh oh, you can still tuck that under like so. Okay, so there's our pocket puppet. That's how to fold your pocket puppet. Again, your fingers go into these pockets here, just like that. And I like to do like that I'm with my right hand. And there's our pocket puppet. All right, I'm gonna come back and show you another finished pocket puppet. We'll be right back. I have another pocket puppet that I have finished. This pocket puppet I made into a person. I made them into a opera singer. Oh, oh. So inside of your pocket puppet, when you open up all the flaps, you can color and make a mouth, just like the bee. When you open it up, it looks very nice and long. You could put things inside of the mouth. So your head, I've got my marker here to show you. Your head is either side of your pocket puppet. So your head could be on this side, it could be on this side, but what's most important is you want your eyes to be facing your folded part here, not the pocket part. So if I was gonna draw some eyes, I want them to be closer to my mouth. And then I can open that up and I can draw a mouth in, just like for our B. All right, well, we look forward to seeing your pocket puppets all finished. You can send us your artwork at lundquiststorytimeandart at gmail.com. And please, if you post any artwork online, use our hashtags, those are on our About Me page and on the video description. Thank you so much. We look forward to seeing your artwork.